Welcome to Arizona State University's Global Freshman Academy. This video will cover the topic, Finding Values of Trigonometric Functions, Given Information About an Angle, Problem Type 3. In this topic, we will be given a trigonometric ratio and a quadrant, and we will need to use this information to determine the lengths of all three sides of a right triangle. This information will allow us to solve for the other two trigonometric ratios asked for in the given problem. Okay, so we will be given a trigonometric ratio, and we can use the mnemonic SOKOTOA to determine the two sides of the right triangle given in the problem, right? Exactly. Let's look at an example. Let theta be an angle in quadrant 4, such that secant of theta equals 17 over 15. Find the exact values of cotangent of theta and sine of theta. We can start by recalling that the secant of theta is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent side. Thus, the hypotenuse is 17 and the adjacent side is 15. Since we are given that the angle is in quadrant 4, we know the values of r and x and need to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for y, the opposite side, right? That's right. Substituting the values for r and x into the Pythagorean theorem and solving for y results in 15 squared plus y squared equals 17 squared, which simplifies to y equals plus or minus the square root of 64, yielding plus or minus 8. However, since we know that the angle is in quadrant 4, where y is negative and x is positive, the y coordinate must be negative 8. Next, we can substitute side lengths into the trigonometric identities for cotangent and sine of theta. Cotangent of theta equals the adjacent over the opposite, which simplifies to negative 15 over 8, and sine of theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, which simplifies to negative 8 seventeenths. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but can we do another quick example just to be sure? Sure. Consider the following example. Let theta be an angle in quadrant 3 such that the cosecant of theta equals negative 3 halves. Find the exact values of tangent of theta and cosine of theta. The cosecant is equal to the hypotenuse over the opposite, thus the values of r and y are given to be 3 and negative 2 respectively. We know that the y is negative because quadrant 3 has negative values for y. Substituting these values into the Pythagorean theorem yields x squared plus negative 2 squared equals 3 squared. Solving for x yields plus or minus the square root of 5, and since quadrant 3 has negative values for x and y, we can state that negative square root of 5 is our value for x, right? Exactly. Substituting the values for opposite and adjacent into the trigonometric identity for tangent of theta yields 2 times the square root of 5 over 5, and substituting the adjacent and hypotenuse sides for cosine of theta equals the negative square root of 5 over 3. Okay, I think I'm starting to understand this topic, but let me quickly summarize just to be sure. We start by identifying the sides given by the trigonometric identity and then use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the third side. We then identify whether the values of x and y are positive or negative based on the quadrant that the angle is located in. Lastly, we substitute the appropriate two values into the trigonometric ratios given in the problem. That's right. 